Modern genetic research has greatly enhanced our understanding of Indo-European language origins, but the exact location remains elusive, with scholars now going back and forth between south and north of the Caucasus Mountains. Josef Lazaridis and David Reich, in their earlier Southern Ark papers, proposed that Proto-Indo-Anatolian, the ancestor of the Anatolian and Indo-European branches, originated in the south. They identified the steppe region north of the Caucasus as a secondary homeland that facilitated the spread of Indo-European. Their later work, however, situated the homeland north of the Caucasus within a genetic group coined as the Caucasus Lower Volga Klein. Given this group's deep ancestral ties to Neolithic populations south of the Caucasus, they also speculated that the Proto-Indo-Anatolian language might have deeper roots in the Armenian highlands. Although these farmers are variously referred to as central farmers, Near Eastern farmers or Eastern Anatolian farmers in different studies, Armenian Neolithic farmers is a more accurate term, as they primarily inhabited the Armenian plateau. A series of new genetic studies is now shedding more light on the possible deeper roots of the Proto-Indo-European homeland. A recent study headed by Hawk and Galici examined both the genetic dispersal of populations and the transmission of cultural innovations. The findings revealed that many technological advancements among steppe populations prior to the expansion of Indo-European languages originated in the South Caucasus specifically from Armenian Neolithic farmers. With a just recently submitted a new study of the human DNA team uh, led by Wolfgang Haag and Aishin Galici, we were able to significantly enhance our understanding of the genetic makeup of the people in this contact zone. The first decisive, decisive mo moment uh, in this process in the North Caucasus is the fifth, mid 5th millennium BC, when groups with a Near Eastern Neolithic way of life, you see them here in red, um, <coughs> crossed the mountains uh, north. They brought with them not only agriculture, uh, architecture, animal husbandry, and all the things of the so-called Neolithic package, but also the genetic ancestry that had emerged in the South Caucasus here between the Anatolian farmer, uh, farming uh, or Anatolian Neolithic components and Caucasus hunter-gatherer uh, <coughs> components here. So this uh, ancestry components spread north to the northern part of the mountains. At the same time, in the north here uh, in the green, with the green color, we witnessed the formation of the earliest steppe ancestry profile on the basis of uh, Eastern hunter-gatherers and Caucasus hunter-gatherer groups, which were not admixed with these uh, other Neolithic components. With the uh, emergence of the genetic frontier, we likewise observed this first exchange of the innovations, because the domesticated livestock and the dairy technologies coming with them of the southerners were speedily adopted, the individuals that consumed the milk were associated with the steppe and Neolithic ancestry. These findings highlight the profound influence of Armenian Neolithic farmers, not only through their genetic contributions, but also in shaping the cultural foundations of Eurasia. These Armenian farmers carried with them the foundational knowledge of early civilization, introducing advancements such as architecture, metallurgy, animal domestication, dairying, agriculture, and plant cultivation. They likely also brought the language that connected northern communities beyond the Caucasus to the cradle of civilization. This raises the possibility that Indo-European languages may have spread through cultural and technological exchanges originating in the Armenian highlands rather than solely through genetic migration. Genetic analyses reveal that today's Armenians are the closest descendants of these ancient Neolithic farmers, sharing an almost identical genetic profile. This continuity underscores the enduring legacy of the Armenian highlands in the development of civilization 